In the heart of Brazil lies one of the world's largest wetlands, the Pantanal. A natural wonder of unparalleled beauty, this vibrant sanctuary, bursting with life, is an irreplaceable habitat that's crucial to the balance of our climate. But this unique ecosystem is under threat. Large-scale food production is rampant, with reckless land conversion sparking out-of-control fires. The Pantanal's very existence hangs in the balance. Now an investigation by the Environmental Justice Foundation has shed light on the Pantanal's destruction and on how Europe's demand for cheap beef is fueling its demise. Stretching across Brazil, Bolivia and Paraguay, the Pantanal is a sanctuary for an array of species, some of which are endangered and in some cases found nowhere else. The Pantanal, as the largest planície continua alagada do planeta, é, ele tem peculiaridades que não se vê em, em lugar nenhum do planeta. It holds the highest density of jaguars in the world and is home to the giant otter, one of the most threatened mammals in South America. Yet the Pantanal and other wetlands like it are not just a haven for enchanting wildlife. They are also a lifeline for our planet, storing billions of tons of carbon, which helps to regulate our global climate. Sobre a importância do Pantanal, eu acho que é importante a gente colocar várias camadas de valores. Regulação de clima, controle de sedimentação, hidrológico, estoques pesqueiros, biodiversidade. Mas eu também acho importante a gente é, pensar nos serviços culturais, né? Na luta, então não tem como entender meio ambiente e natureza sem entender essa presença indígena, né? Porque para nós somos um só. É essa relação de respeito, de cuidado. But amidst the tranquility of this wetland paradise loom multiple evolving threats. Intensification of cattle farming, monoculture production, reckless land conversion, rising temperatures, the list goes on. Então, essa degradação ambiental, né, ela está crescendo muito, assim, com a expansão agrícola para as monoculturas, para atender o agronegócio, para as praias, pastagem, né, para a pecuária. Onde a gente está aqui é no limite da fazenda e território indígena. A gente já consegue perceber essa diferença desde que o território indígena tem a preservação do meio ambiente, da natureza. Enquanto que do lado direito nós temos o verde do pasto, né? da degradação do território. Since 1990, the total area of pristine wetland that's been converted to pasture for grazing cattle has more than doubled, reaching a staggering 2.54 million hectares, the size of Slovenia. Cattle ranchers are known to use intentionally set fires to create fresh grazing pastures for their herds. But with careless igniting and rising temperatures, these so-called controlled burns are spiraling out of control. The devastating fires of 2020 consumed a third of the entire biome. Sabe que é sempre os mesmos que começam esses incêndios. Eles acabam perdendo o controle e isso acaba gerando perdas significativas. Acho que três ou quatro dias andando sem nenhum bicho vivo. A gente só achava carcaça queimada, e mata segurando filhote, aquela coisa de louco e gente que trabalha, trabalha e foca em conservação, né, a gente acaba pensando muito em população, né? E numa situação dessa você passa a ver o indivíduo, né? Então cada indivíduo, né, acho que é algo que é, mexe muito com a gente. At least 17 million wild vertebrates were killed and 115.6 million tons of CO2 were released. More than CO2 emissions for the whole of Belgium in the same year. Indigenous lands were hit hard, 
with some tribes losing up to 90% of their territory. Acho que a gente tá vivendo assim um processo de total degradação, né? Né? E aí acaba gerando também muitas queimadas, muito se olha para a queimada na Amazônia, mas o Cerrado, o Pantanal estão queimando igual e e eu acho que claro, uma, uma tragédia, né? Porque o que se perde ali, você não consegue recuperar mais com né, em, em pouco tempo. The Pantanal's very existence is in jeopardy. With scientists predicting more than a decade ago that if the high rates of deforestation persist, the Pantanal could effectively disappear as a functioning ecosystem by 2050. Então é lógico que existe uma demanda local, por exemplo, para a produção de alimentos, etc. Mas o que impulsiona as grandes mudanças de uso do solo e de produção no Pantanal e no entorno, muitas vezes são áreas distantes, são economias que, de, ou de demandas de outros países, etc. Né? The Environmental Justice Foundation has found that cattle produced for consumption in the European Union is a major driver of this destruction. EJF's researchers identified over 300 direct and indirect suppliers linked to the EU market that were together responsible for converting vast areas of the Pantanal into pasture for cattle ranching. E essas empresas que eu, que compram essa carne, elas não têm essa essa condição dentro é, acordada no Pantanal. Quer dizer, não existe um algo que que, que fale para o pantaneiro, olha, eu não vou comprar sua carne se você tiver fogo na sua propriedade, entendeu? Between 2012 and 2021, EJF estimates that an area of native vegetation over four times the size of Paris has been converted to pasture within properties linked to the EU market, releasing the equivalent of 10.6 million barrels of oil's worth of CO2 into the atmosphere. And the pace of this conversion is accelerating, with an 83% increase in conversion of wetland and grassland into pasture in 2021 compared with the previous year. And due to a lack of data transparency, the actual deforestation footprint of the EU is likely even higher. Disturbing reports of human rights abuses on cattle ranches have also come to light. Brokers play a significant role in recruiting vulnerable workers who are taken far from home, may be unable to communicate in the local language, and are subjected to dire working conditions with little or no pay. EJF has found cases of forced labour and exploitative conditions faced by workers producing meat are impossible to trace and, as such, could be entering EU supply chains. Falou que tinha alojamento todo dia para nós, né? Aí chegamos lá, é tudo diferente. E tinha que providenciar um para dormir na rede. E não tinha negócio de banheiro para você tomar banho. Nosso barraco, a carne que tinha, tá cheio de bicho. Né? Não tava no jeito aqui, né? Cattle ranching stands out as the industry with the highest number of enslaved workers in Brazil. Since 2017, 18 ranches in the Pantanal region have been included on Brazil's infamous dirty list of companies that have subjected workers to slave-like conditions. É sofrida a nossa vida, não é? Assim, né? Existe uma parcela de produtor que é extremamente consciente e que produz dentro dos parâmetros de sustentabilidade, mas a grande maioria não. E essa consciência ela vai vir de fora para dentro. Ou se faz uma boa política ou você não vai inserir o seu produto no mercado internacional. The European Union is taking a huge step forward when it comes to tackling environmental destruction after the European Parliament voted on Wednesday to ensure that products on the EU market are deforestation-free. Right now, European consumers cannot be sure if they want to buy a steak for the barbecue in the supermarket, whether this steak has contributed to slavery or to deforestation. And this is what the regulation wants to change. We are making actually a clear sign as European Union. We say, if you destroy forests, you cannot do business with us. The regulation is covering the degradation of forests, but it's not covering the destruction of other valuable ecosystems. I think it's very important to include other valuable ecosystems like wetlands, like the Pantanal, in the regulation 
because otherwise we would create a big loophole. Companies that don't want to comply with the regulation can just shift the area of production to other ecosystems that are not covered by this regulation. Wetlands like Benetil are endangered. This emission leaves vast expanses of our planet's most biodiverse and carbon-rich ecosystems exposed to potential exploitation and degradation, with wetlands vanishing three times faster than forests worldwide. The clock is ticking for the Pantanal. But there is hope. The EU can drive real change by expanding the deforestation regulation to include not only forests, but also other wooded lands and ecosystems, such as savannas, grasslands and wetlands. Wetlands like the Pantanal, they maintain biodiversity and they are as equally important as forests for the world's climate. Muita gente ainda tem a oportunidade de tomar decisões E o mundo ainda tem a chance de, de vivenciar lugares como esse e de planejar rotas 